Hello friends. How are we today? Today is Monday, April 20th, 420. When I was working back in the college circuit, 420 would be my least favorite day. I was working in um, judicial affairs. So if kids got in trouble, they came to see me. And let's just say the rest of the week, I would be pretty busy after today. Hi, my name is Claire. I go by Clarity. And this is a cross stitch channel where I talk about how stitching is helping me through this quarantine called Beautiful Clarity. Hi, for those that don't know, I live just outside of New York City and I'm actually skipping watching the governor's um, press conference for today just because it's getting wearing. I think I'm at the point where the news will just find me no matter what. So why not focus on things that bring me joy? Things that bring me joy are not getting knots in my stitching. But that's okay. <laughs> Look at that. I just pull and it comes undone. But now I have to rethread the needle. How convenient. So I am um, so grateful for everybody's positive responses to these Stitch With Me daily videos. I think I kind of regret not starting these sooner because not only does it hold me accountable to get some stitching done, but it also just, actually that's it. It just gives me the ability to get some stitching done and connect with all of you. Um, I'm grateful to all of you for sticking around and hanging out uh, and stitching because I know that if I don't have somebody to stitch with or quote unquote reason to stitch besides this quarantine and mental health, um, I wouldn't be doing it. It would be uh, just like every other unfinished product of mine. Um, and the annoying thing right now is that because of, I, I said this yesterday, I think, <laughs> excuse my allergies are killing me. I said this yesterday, but um, with all the making of all the face masks, now I only made enough because I only had fabric and materials enough for my immediate family and um, my parents. Because my mother-in-law made hers, made them for her family or her, like, her and her husband and, um, two. And then my sister-in-law, who's out in Hawaii, was going to make me some, but with the mail being the way that it is and... I needed them stat rather than like in a week. She, uh, I made some for myself anyway. But um, the problem is I can't use my sewing machine now because I ran through, because I was sewing with such thick material. And I mean, not thick material, but like sewing pleats makes it a lot of layers. And just a regular sewing machine needle isn't gonna cut it. I should have invested in getting like a denim needle or something a little bit thicker, but like I said, Amazon and I, our Joann's here in New York are closed, so I couldn't even do like pick up curbside. So I just didn't want to risk it, so I said, ah, screw it. So my sewing machine is out of commission until quarantine is over, um, which is actually a good thing because it gives me time to go through all my fabric stash and clean that out. I actually don't have that much usable fabric, so to speak. I just have everything. It's been sewn into a jelly roll strip, if that makes any sense. I cut two and a half inch strips out of all my remaining fabrics and I sewed them all together before all the needles broke. So I have this one really long, don't even know how long it is. Two and a half. Okay. Anyway, I forget where, oh, so about the jelly roll strip, I really am clueless. I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I'll just make it one big jelly roll quilt. Have you ever seen those? Regardless, I'm not going to be doing anything anytime soon. So um, cleaning out my stash for cross stitch actually went really well. All my patterns are on that bulletin board in my stitchy space in the basement. I condensed, this is nuts, all my whips I made into bags into one little like uh, ottoman and it kind of overwhelmed me. So the goal, so in New York, 
we are at least until we are in quarantine until at least May 15th. Um, but something tells me it's going to go a lot longer than that for everybody's safety and security. Um, so I guess we'll just see, but, uh, oops, sorry. Let's move it back. There we go. Yeah, for everybody's safety and security, we're until May 15th, but I, uh, I'm personally thinking it's going to be a lot longer anyway, which is actually good because I don't think we want a second wave of this virus again. Um, so, the little things frustrate me. <laughs> like moving the needle minder and things like that. But I'm gonna finish this. So is my goal is to get this done. Let's see, five. One, two, three, four. Um, I think it's five. Let me double count. Ugh, this is why I don't like samplers. I get it. People like it. But then again, this kind of sucks. One, two, three, four. Oh, look at that. One, two, three, four. Good thing. One, two, three. Maybe I should just do a sampler on even weave. I did see, uh, not even weave. That's not what I was saying. What's the other one? Ada. I saw a um, Hands Across the Sea that had just come out, and my friend Eva and I sent it to each other without even consulting each other prior to, and we both were like, well, that's one that I would stitch, because it didn't have, like, the traditional alphabet and numbers, um, and I don't remember the name. It's, like, the one of the newest ones that just came out. So remember, today is Monday, April 20th, so whatever just came out... Um, I think Nicola Parkman had posted it somewhere on in the Facebook world. And we sent each other the same link. To, um, and I said we should do a stitch along. And we both laughed because it takes me. So she's a crochet person. But it takes me for her to stitch something. And it takes her, I mean, not that much time to crochet something. But at the same time, we both have so many outstanding whips that it's insane. We both laughed. But maybe by the time I go back down to D.C. and see her in November. I'm sure I'll see her before then, pending this whole pandemic. But, um, there's no way we're going to start it until at least November. So. I, um, am determined to finish this today. Probably won't happen. If not today, then definitely tomorrow. Um, only reason is because I want to get into that Hannah hand makes the um, peace, calm, and happiness cell that she's got. Well, not, I guess not really a cell. Every day she releases a new piece. Um, and like I said, it's on that 18 by 27 count fabric, or 18 by 27 inch fabric. So obviously it's gonna be a big piece. And then I also found Ada, black Ada in my stash, black being the keyword. Um, and I am gonna be doing the peppermint purple black work and somebody asked me the other day are you comfortable with black work and I said not really but since it's considered like basically back stitching I probably should practice back stitching because isn't stitching like practice like learning something and a new technique of stitching like me stitching in hand it took me a very long time to get the hang of so if I practice this black work and I practice it on Black Ada, nonetheless. It should help me, right? Like, am I silly for thinking that? Like, practice makes perfect, or practice makes progress, however you want to call it. So if I practice on Black Ada, which is huge, because my tiny modernist cell from last year that I haven't even touched yet is on Black Ada. I mean, I touched it, not this actual, actual calendar here, but, um, and plus I know that, um, Zelda, and actually all my mirrors have a lot of, uh, let's do the letter J now. All the mirrors have a lot of backstitching. Actually, a lot of patterns just have a lot of backstitching. I'm going to use this Nile, um. So I figure this black work should help, and especially because it, they are smaller-ish, 
um, piece, not pieces isn't the right word. They're small sections and it is a weekly sale. So like, not to say that I'm gonna get all 16 weeks that I'm behind in done today, but at least like if I can do, <laughs> this is ambitious of me. If I can do one piece a day for the next 16 days, how many days left are in this month? Not 16, who knows, 10 years? Yep, sounds about right. Um, I'll catch up eventually, but I've got quarantine and I know that um, I'm gonna be doing Mira Mania or Zelda Mania, whatever you want to call it. But uh, at the same time, I think I'm gonna need a break every once in a while from all that pink. <laughs> so all black is gonna be challenging. Plus when I need a day where I need to be challenged, although quarantine has become challenging, I will pick out the black work. Cause even though I love the colors that Peppermint Purple picked, I think Black and white is just going to be a little bit more different. Um, not necessarily my style, because I do like black and white, don't get me wrong, but I do love my colors. But I think the challenging is going to be the black and white, and I think by finishing it in that way, one, two, three, four, perfect. I think by finishing it in that black and white, It'll be a little bit more like stunning, at least in my mind. So what projects are we all working on today? Anybody have any fun plans for Mania? I mean, we're only 10 days away. Can't wait to bring back Zelda. I had this thought in my head because I'm doing, like I said, you guys know, I've been doing the landmark challenges through, uh, oh God, Ultimate Cross Stitch Group on Facebook. And Zelda is doing pyramids and she's 20,000 stitches for the pyramids. And I think I have already complete, actually I have 1897 completed. So about 18,000 left. So I did the math. And if I wanted to do 18,000 stitches on Zelda in the month of May, that averages out to about 580 stitches a day. And I laughed. I laughed a lot. Because if you don't laugh at yourself and the silly things that you do, especially when it comes down to counting stitches, you're gonna go nuts. So I said to my husband, because he's always like, what are you counting? Why are you doing math now? Because I'll be like, what is blah, 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 divided by blah, 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 or what's blah, 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 blah plus blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh my God, 580 stitches a day. That's insanity, at least for me. Kudos to those who can do it. But I, I just, oh man, that's a lot of time that I don't have. <laughs> I'd love to, but two boys and hopefully the weather starts getting nicer it's really chilly here today you ever get like these pieces of well I mean for people who stitch on linen now I remember this time last year I said I was scared of linen and to be honest I still am this J looks all wonky. Does it look like a J? Oh. Uh, I still am scared of linen, to be honest with you. One second, let's count. One, two, three, four, okay. One, two, Um, yeah, to be honest, I am still scared of linen. Um, I don't like the unevenness of it. And I haven't come across many slubs yet where I have needed to, like, do something about it. But at the same time, I'm dreading that day. So I think I'm just gonna, you know, once my... 
I kick the linen in my stash. And not by kick the linen, I mean like once I use up all my linen, I think I'm just gonna go back and just be a self-proclaimed Ada or even weave girl. And with the great thing about stitching and this community of stitchers is that there really aren't any rules. There's no linen police, there's no even weave police, there's no fabric police, it's just make it your own. And what's great about even weave, for me at least, is all the variety of colors. I mean, Ada too, I, I, don't get me wrong. There's lots of variety of Adas and whatnot, but um, just, you know, to express your creativity, and, I'm, and even for linen, it, to express your creativity in such different ways, it makes it that much more fun. But if you're preferenced to a certain way, like I am with even me or with Ada. That's just how life goes, right? Well, maybe it's also the type of linen that I'm using. Like this is by Weichelt and it's very stiff. And even with using it and holding it and like playing with it, it just is very stiff. And I'm not a fan of the stiff. That's like, maybe I should, maybe I should have gotten Zweigart linen, but at the same time, like Fat Quarter Shop was doing a Weichelt, um, fabric of the month like that's their supplier so it's kind of like the cards I was given whereas Brandy over at Bee Stitch Me the hand dyed fabrics that I love the one that I am using Zelda on she gets Swigart Beast and I don't have the linen but I definitely have it in even weave and I just love how smooth and buttery it is maybe it's also Lugana versus Joblin I don't know I don't know Maybe that's how everything is working out. Or maybe it's just me being me and not knowing and learning all this stuff. Because remember, technically I still am a newbie stitcher. Mm. But it's good to learn. I'm learning so many new things by these stitch, me stitch with me's. And I'm learning so many new things from everybody that's been reaching out on Instagram or email. Even fellow YouTube comments, just so much. I'm so grateful. Because if I didn't put these out, how would I learn this crap? Honestly, it's not crap, you know what I mean? But like, how would I learn? Who would teach me this stuff? My mom didn't. My mom used to stitch, but gave it up when we were in like kindergarten. <laughs> Only because she, like, we got busy in life, you know, everything just got in the way, and then now she has terrible vision. So she stopped, but I don't foresee myself stopping anytime soon because it's definitely helping get through this quarantine. <laughs> and now I've been asked to like, not commission pieces, that's not right, but mom was like, oh, look at this, can you stitch this? Yeah, mom, go ahead. So, we'll see. Sometimes it's just the habit of that Pulling the thread through calms me down. Just the sound. Which the sound always doesn't come through on camera, I know, but you know what sound I'm talking about. That initial, uh, like the, the sound of the thread going through that hole. Uh, just so satisfying. Hope you grabbed your stitching with me. That way it's not like awkward silence or awkward stitching where you're just watching me stitch and you're not doing I used to do that actually when before I really started stitching. I used to just watch Caroline off the grid needle arts stitch. And when I say that, I've said this story a few times, but I'll say it again. When my second son was born, I was already seeking therapy for P postpartum depression for my first son and he had just turned about two and a half before my second was born um but I had started seeing a therapist because I said to my doctor my OB I said is it possible to have pre-postpartum depression and she goes no that's just probably depression <laughs> so she sent me to a therapist and um and it got worse obviously with the postpartum and so I was 
tasked with finding myself a hobby. And I started YouTubing how to knit, how to crochet, because those are things I had picked up before, just didn't really like them. <laughs> and then one thing led to another, and I fell asleep feeding the baby one night while trying to learn how to crochet, and um, Caroline popped up, and I woke up in the middle of the night with him in my arms, probably not the safest bet, but that was what happened, that's the reality of the situation. And uh, I w was intrigued, not just by how calm her voice was, but the things that she, she, was, she was stitching. I watched her for hours. It was the strangest thing. I thought it was so odd <laughs> to have been watching some woman stitch pictures. I didn't know what it was. I still don't know what it was. But I was just watching this woman sit down in her chair and just stitch and talk about her life and everything that's going on and I was just like what is this so I watched and watched and watched and then she led me to you know her video led me to somebody else's video and then it just like fell down the rabbit hole and so that's when I said okay I think I should start doing this and one thing led to another and here we are so that was in November of 2018, and then in April 2019, which should be, I should be getting like a notification like any day now, is my first video, um, my first floss tube, and I was clueless. I mean, I was just, I didn't know what to, I was doing, how to make a cover for the video and all that, um, and that's one thing I, I my OCD mind has to do again I gotta make all my covers on YouTube um what's the word they all have to match so that's what I'll do I have so much time during quarantine I might as well it doesn't take that long to be honest one two We'll do the letter K, and we'll call it a day, because I think I'm at 18 plus 4, 20-something minutes. I'll try to make it an even half hour. Oh, man. So, yeah. Oh, crud. This was not the color I needed for this section. <laughs> Let's finish 1850 and her last name. I won't do the letter K right now. What was I thinking? I wasn't. I was too excited to tell you all about my cross-stitching journey and my floss tube journey. So yeah, a year. Can you believe that? People have been watching me stitch for a year. Am I really that interesting? <laughs> That's what I like to tell myself. I can't be that interesting, right? Or are we all in some like parallel universe? I don't like to believe that stuff. Have you guys been watching any good TV? I finished Tiger King. I'm all caught up on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I'm all caught up on, uh, kind of crude, Tacoma FD. It's pretty funny, but kind of crude. I'm all caught up on that. Um, I have been watching The Office on repeat, obviously. Um, I should have purchased, oh wait, it's not right. I should have purchased, but I never did. Friends on DVD or like the digital versions of it, but once it was off Netflix, honestly, I didn't realize it. But I'm all caught up on Cheers, Cheers from the '80s. I love that show. I wasn't around for it, but I love that show. Um, and then Frasier got moved. I don't know where he went to. The show, not the C Frasier Crane from Cheers. I mean, well, Frasier Crane, Frasier is the spinoff from Cheers, but. It's not on Netflix in the States anymore. At least I don't think it is. It's not popping up in my most recently in my my watched queue, I should say. I've been are you I binged it in between um Caroline's videos and well, feeding the baby uh all those years ago. I binged it, Frasier. I loved it. Um so I think he got moved to Hulu, maybe. I don't know, but in Hulu, I mean it's great, but it's kind of pain. I we use a Roku, so maybe it's a different setup on Hulu. I don't know. 
It's kind of a pain in the neck to work Hulu. It's just easier to... Oh, and because you can't watch Hulu on your phone. Unless you, like, it, is this you? Yeah, of course that's me. It's the same IP address. Where the hell else am I going to go? One, two, three, four. This is five, so I have to go this way. Um, so that's why I've been watching Cheers. Plus, I mean, he didn't age very well, and he went gray on Cheers, but Ted Danson, back in the day, oh, man, what a heartthrob. Kind of jealous. You guys had all the good, you know good looking people. I mean, no, we, we have, I mean, my generation, we had cheer. No, we have friends. <laughs> I always thought Matthew Perry was kind of cute. We were a little young for Seinfeld, at least in my cohort of people. But then what else did we watch? Oh, we watched Gilmore Girls. I wasn't really a fan of that until I was an adult. <laughs> what else did we watch? The OC for all four seasons of that show. We watched trying to think but friends was like our go-to and still is um, at least my cohort of friends and then we had how i met your mother but that was more when we were in after college and the office finished when i way after i finished college so i don't know you just find something you like and you stick with it right but does anybody have anything else i mean i know um <laughs> We, we watched the second Tiger King with Joel McHale. Joel. Joe? Whatever his name is. Yeah, but I'm looking, oh, we started Devs. That's on Hulu. Um, and it was just funny because I finished the second episode the other night. And Aaron over at Two Martini Stitcher posted on Instagram stories. Just finished watching the season finale of Devs. Still don't know what I want to do. And I messaged her and I was like, oh my God, that's so funny that you say that because my verdict is still out on it. Like, you kind of have to keep watching only because you're like, what the f is going to happen next? Because just when you think it gets nuts, it gets even more nuts. And you're like, do I like this show or do I not like this show? It's very um, Silicon Valley based. And dystopian's not the right word for it. I don't, and it's not a thriller. I don't think anybody really has any word for it, to be honest with you. I hear somebody coming up from downstairs saying he's tired. Good. Or maybe he's talking and playing games. I hope it's the latter. Oh boy, I hope I miscount. I hope I didn't miscount somewhere because... Maybe I should. So the letter S is going to finish giving me two stitches to the border. This makes me very uncomfortable. Let's just run with it. <laughs> if not, then I'm going to have to move something somewhere. Or just not give her an S at the end of her name. Let's see one. Yeah, this is going to be very close to poor Philomania. She's not going to have an S. You know what? I, do, I know what I'll do. Crap, what am I thinking? I know what I'm doing. So it's true. Oh, this makes me very uncomfortable. Let's just keep going with it. I might just not give her an S. Because I know my border all lines up. Well, stitch wise, stitch count wise, the border is correct. So the counting wise must have been through her last name or the the line of letters. I don't know. It makes me very nervous to be doing this right now. So what I'll do is I'll finish the top of the letter M right here. And then I'll uh, do the top of the letter S and see what happens. So let's do this. I'm not frogging. I refuse to frog any more of this. I'm tired of this. I want this done. 
Never again am I doing a sampler with alphabets. Kudos to those who love these, but pff, I am not one of those people. All right, so let's, oh, she's not gonna have a letter M, letter S. She's gonna be Philomena Burm. It's not going to fit. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I, I doubt it, though. <laughs> Excuse me. My sniffling is so bad right now. All right, let's see. Shoot. You know what? I don't think it's going to fit. Oh, nope, definitely not. Sorry, Philomena. It's just gonna... Do you think anybody would really notice? I mean, it's not... There's so many samplers out there. Nope, she's just gonna be Philomena Burn. Crap, which means my letters up top could be the letter off, so I have to finish... What letter did I do? W, and then I have the letter X, and then I have K, L, and M. Oy. But I think the way that the M is spaced... Well, it's not going to line up. Oh, lordy, lordy, lord. You know what? I bet you it's right here. I bet you there was way too much space right here. Whatever. I'm sure in one day, whoever this Philomania girl is will forgive me. Plus, aren't we supposed to modify all of it to make it our own? I think I just did that right. All right, so I'm going to finish this letter and then we'll hang up for the day. Well, that stinks a lot. Like a lot, a lot, but I did what I could. It's my first sampler. This linen really stiff. I don't like it. What a bummer. I can't believe I did that. Oh well. The old me would have just ripped everything out and cried and thrown the fabric away, but because we're like 80% done with this, the let's make it work me is okay with the fact of that. And it's just one letter. It's not like I cut out all her name, right? I'm sure. I just have to tell myself, yes, it will be okay. And you know what? I've made so many modifications. I, I didn't use any of the silks that was called for. I didn't use any of the DMV. DMV. <laughs> where I used to live. Delaware. No, DC. Maryland, Virginia. Um, I didn't use any of the DMC colors. I made my own. And you know what? I'm kind of pleased with the fact that I did this and it's kind of done after. I just have to finish the letters K, L, M and the letter X. Put the number zero for 50. I had set a timer for myself. So yeah, just finish off the letter KLM, the letter X, the number zero for 50. And then there's four little motifs on the bottom here. And I am done with this sampler and I am not looking back. I mean, it was a, it was a learning stitch. That's what I did with this. It was a learning stitch. Am I proud of it? Hell yes. Because I learned so much on how to do this without wanting to cry. Because there were times where I just wanted to throw it away and say, F it. But I didn't. Because I'm New York strong. Alright, so we're going to open this up, check out the progress, and see where we're at. Definitely was right here. Yep. Definitely was right there, but here we are. Oh, look at that. I forgot to show you guys this. Last night I finished, this is the page break. I finished that page, and look how fun. I picked a really cool 
because it said a red and I was like well because the, uh, the original colors called her blue like a navy blue a dark beige a light beige an orange and a red and I was like that red is gonna look so cool yeah I like it okay so um Philomania Beerum I could rip out the U R and the M and fit the S but honestly I have the K L and M W and here's the X it goes right here and I am calling it I have a motif here a bird here a big large flower motif here another heart and then I am done D U N <laughs> done dun 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 all right friends if I don't finish this tonight well we'll be stitching it tomorrow but I hope to finish it tonight because these motifs go really fast until tomorrow life is beautiful so are you Stay beautiful, my friends.